All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how to uh, configure Lunar V2. Um, so I'll just go through like all the settings in the UI, and then I'll go over um, the settings that aren't even in here. They're in the config.json. Um, I'll go over this first, and then that. Um, to start with, I'll just start from the top and go down. Um, so delay is pretty much how long it takes to get to the destination. So you know, if you have this really low, it's gonna be really snappy. Um, but if you, you know, make it more, it's gonna take a little bit longer to get there. So it looks more legit. And I like using it higher, just to make it smoother. Um, FOV is just how big the detection box is, or FOV, pretty simple. You can also use arrow keys to move this, to make it exactly how you want it. I normally use 350. And then AI confidence, a lot of people don't understand what this means, but um, when the AI is looking for objects, right, it has a confidence level, like a percentage on how confident it is that what you're looking at is a player. So right now, it might be, you know, 50% confident that this is a person. And since my well, actually, it'd have to be over 72 because it's looking at it. But if it was 50% confident that this was a player, it wouldn't look because I have it at 72. But if I have it like super low, it's going to look at players easier. But it might look at trees and other things because it, you know, it's not confident that those are actually players. But since you have it low, it might look at them. So I normally use like 70. And if you have it at 100, it has to be 100% confident that that's a player. So it's not looking at him at all. It'd have to be 100% sure. So you don't want to do that. And you don't want to do zero because it'll detect everything as a player. And it'll just slow it down. So I use like 70. Um, pixel increment. It's disabled right now because I have used smoothest percentage. Um, smoothest percentage sets this automatically so if you have this on you don't need to worry about this but it's how many pixels it can move or it moves um, per iteration so if you set this to like five it'll move five pixels at a time versus one i normally use one because it's smoother but if you have like a bad pc you can use a higher um, but i i use this anyways so i don't worry about that um and then smoothest percentage um a lot of people get this wrong too the lower it is the smoother it is it's based off the distance left you know to the player so if you have it see it's at two percent it's really slow um but if you have it at like 50 you know it's still slow but it's smooth um, and a hundred would basically be off because that's a hundred percent yeah that's basically off and if you make it over 100 let's say a thousand it's gonna be like very it, it'll be over correcting because it's aiming a thousand percent of what it should be i normally use like 60 to 80 percent and then aim height is how high i aim so it starts at zero so zero would be like right at above their head because that's the top of the detection box um and then 20 is like you know there if you had it at like five or four it's gonna be higher up just play around with that how do you like it i normally use 20 just because it's it looks more legit um trigger bot threshold this tells the trigger bot when it can shoot so if if it's locked on and it's within five pixels of the destination then it will shoot if you had this at one it'd have to be spot on like within one pixel of the destination um so like 10 leaves um some room for error so if it was like right there it'd be shooting but i have trigger about off so it's not going to i normally use five patch size <clears throat> this is for like uh slower computers it just limits how many times the functions can be run like the mouse events um so two would be more jittery but you get more fps when aiming in um, so you can mess with that one just lets it run as many times as possible. I wouldn't go over 10 
maybe not even eight. So like I would just say eight is like the max for that. But I just want. Um. All right. So smoothness percentage. We already went over that. It's just enables this. Uh, show off of the overlay. Just shows the box. Um, lunar vision shows this, which shows your FPS and what it's detecting as a player. So it'll draw like a, a line. Um, and you cannot close this because it's running on a loop. So you'll need to turn it off here if you don't want it. Show detections shows obviously the detections. Uh, custom resolution uses this. So if you have like, let's say this is wrong up here. Uh, you can get what your normal res is and put it here and click apply, save settings, restart. And then make sure you have this on and it'll be using this instead of this. And trigger bot shoots whenever it's... Uh, collect images. This stores your... So it'll take a screenshot, right, within this box. So it takes a picture within this box, same size. And then it stores it in your data folder in here. So this is like an old one I had. But it's the same size as the FOV. And then this is what you can use to train it with like RoboFlow. Um, but it doesn't train automatically. A lot of people think it does, but it doesn't. So all it does is collect images. And then there's yellow version. That's just a version of yellow. I use V8 because it's the most like accurate. Um, but if you have a, you know, a different model, like a different version of yellow, you have options. So, all right. So that's the UI. Now let's get into the config. So I use Notepad++ to edit this because it formats it for me, so it's easier to read. So I just Control Alt M. And if you want to use, if you want to format this, uh, there's like tools or plugins, JS tool. So you'd go here, search for JS tool and install it, and then Control Alt M to uh, format this like regular JSON. Just makes it easier to read. We already went over that. Dynamic FOV. This changes the size of the FOV depending on the size, you know, how close the player is. So if they're really close, your FOV is going to be huge. If they're really far, it's going to be small. Um, I don't use it because it's not really consistent. And I don't know. Sometimes in creative, I'll use it, but not really in Battle Royale. Um, it's supposed to help not lock on a tree because your detection box is small if you're aiming at someone long distance. But... Uh, it's up to you. Opacity just changes the opacity of this of this overlay. One being 100% opaque, and zero being invisible. Uh, detection shape. This can be circle or square. Makes this a circle or a square. Uh, crosshair size. It's the width of this crosshair. Your key bind. You know, it's right click by default. But what you can do if you want to change it is you can go to uh, virtual key codes and find the hex value of what you want to use so by default it's a right mouse button which is this and then second keybind this is if you're using dual keybinds right now I have it at the second keybind is left click so I would have to be if this was if use dual keybinds was on I'd have to be clicking right click and left click for it to actually start aiming um, and that just lets you like aim in regularly and then once you start shooting it locks on or you could have it as anything else but um, yeah that's that custom resolution use controller so if this is true you can use a controller if you're using Xbox then it should work fine just make sure your controller is plugged in if you're using like a PlayStation I think you'll have to remap your controller with some kind of software um, I'll try to fix that in a later update but right now it's just Xbox support IOU. So IOU, it's a little complicated. You can just leave it like this. Um, you can Google the meaning. Um, crosshair thickness is the thickness of the. It's the. It's the crosshair and the overlay. So if it was one pixel, if it was one, it'd be one pixel. Right now it's two. Uh, crosshair color. This is RGB. So you can just look up like a color and then find the RGB value and put it in here use them as s so you don't want to use this unless you have to so if your lunar vision window is black right here like if it's not seeing anything then you turn this on and it should work
and we already went over that so yeah that's everything as of 1.93 there's going to be more stuff in later updates but this covers a lot of stuff so that's pretty much it for this video um i plan on making another video on um, how to train the ai so you guys can make your own models for any game and yeah that's that's all for this video 